guests here, man. My nephew, man, one of the rawest artists out here in the Bay Area, West Coast Pier, man, Shady Nate, man. What's up, man? Huh? Welcome to All Bay News Magazine, man. Hey, man, uh, I, I know all about you. Man, the shooter and the driver know all about you, man. Man, what's up, man? Tell the whole world, man. Give us a little a high level overview of yourself. I ain't I'm, uh, just a West Oakland nigga from Acorn, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Putting on for the Bay, you know? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Started, you know, we started, you know what I'm saying? In the hood, that we, you know, take trying to, you know, keep up. We just trying to keep up with, with where we at. Wherever they saying our name at, that's where we going, you feel me? Yeah. So man, hey man, you man, you was co-founder of one of the, 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 the one of the most pioneer, one of the most one of the most influential uh, hip hop uh, collabs and collectives in in, in in the West Coast in the Bay Area, man. Livewire, man. So uh, before I talk about Livewire, man, tell me how you got started rapping, man, and and, and, and who was your influences? I got started rapping. I mean, I've been always writing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. um, um, my, like, you feel me, like, people in my hood, like, you know what I'm saying, my partners just go, the block get hot, you feel me, they go to the studio, you feel me, it was just something, you know, that ain't never be, been dead in West Oakland, you feel me, no way, there wasn't really no rappers in West Oakland, like, you know what I'm saying, so, I just went, I, I skipped school and snuck up to the studio, whatever, and it's been on ever since. Absolutely, so, where did you, where did you meet Jay Stalin at? Me and Stalin went to school together, you know what I'm saying? We went to Mac together. Ben Noy and Jay. I've so, been knowing them from Cypress, you feel me? But we went to we went to Mac too though. Absolutely. So what was your first rhyme? What was your first rap that you that you, that you wrote down and, and, and spit? It was a song uh, um it was it was a song called uh, I forgot what the song was called, but it's on MA shit. It's on MAC shit, you feel me? Free Mac Black. You know what I'm saying? Um Free Mac Blast, man, Elohim, man. Elohim, yes, yeah, man, you feel me? Um, I just, that was my first rap, man, you feel me? He put it on, he put, I didn't even know what an ad lib was. He just put me up in the studio, and just, you feel me, it was on. Absolutely. I had like one rap, like Stalin, been, Stalin had been rapping, but look, my nigga Lil Dane, he was the sauciest one, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? They had took Dane to the lab first. He was from Cypress, you feel mm -hmm. me? So, you know what I'm saying? I snuck up in that motherfucker the next day. But Dang used to be freestyling it, rapping with everybody. I mean, rapping and telling ciphers and shit. I just had like one rap. You know what I'm saying? Every time you rap, I, I say that one rap. Very weird, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I was a real. I mean, then when we laid it, shit, it was on. I just kept, kept the lead. So what, what what made you take rap seriously? After after we did the song, and then took the song back to the hood, and motherfuckers was, you know, they was on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? A nigga. A nigga had it, wrecked right that hood, let me know I had it, so. What's, what's Shady Nate's your first name that you picked? Uh. He wouldn't give it. I can't hear you. Hey, go okay. yeah, Shady Nate's the name that I picked, though, you feel mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. right, you know what I'm saying? You know. You know, back there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was like Bo. It was like, oh, you know, Bo. Okay, Nate yeah. Bo, Morky Bo, you know what I'm saying? It was that so I wasn't there, you know what I'm saying? I had some. Like, old school Toddy Bo, man. Toddy yeah, all Toddy, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? The man's in the universe, king of all rocks. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You already know how that go, that hood shit. Absolutely. So, boom, okay. So, boom. And then you come with, with Shady Neck. All right, what was your first song with Jay Stalin? Do you remember? First song with Jay? First song think, ever. It was uh, it's called um, um, West Oakland. Everywhere I go, got a lot of West Oakland, New York. I'm in the airport smoking. That's when we first, you feel me? Like that was our first song together. Absolutely. You know what I'm so, what made you? How did Live Wire come about? What What was it? Was it a, a watchword, or, or did somebody say I'm gonna be live? This is we gonna call it shit Live Wire. How did How did that come about? Um. Jay made the Jay made that name up. Jay made the name up Livewire. You feel me? You know what I'm saying him and Dane. I had heard. I first heard Jay. I, I have. I was rapping before Jay, but I heard him on Richie Rich shit. But I didn't know it was him because I don't think Rich put his name on there or something. Mm -hmm. But I heard his voice. I'm like, I know this boy. Like you feel me? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I found out it was Jay. I found out it was Jay. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know what I'm saying? I pushed up on him. Kind of went down there to Cypress, holler at him. 
And all my niggas had went to jail. That I started had rapping with M.A. went to jail, Taco, and everybody had went down. So I was trying to keep it lit. I was, you know, my face was on me. So I'm like, I hollered at Jay. You feel me? We put it together. with you know what I'm saying? Niggas from, you know, he, I'm a sauciest nigga in Acorn. He's sauciest nigga in Cypress. So we came together with Livewire. You know what I'm saying? Dame had went down deep, deep, deep doing 24 years. So. We kept it lit, and it was over. It's been over since. It's been man, over. Hey man, man, shout out to that collab, man. The, the ancestors was with y'all. Right. Y'all came together, man. Man, I appreciate it. I know the Bay Area appreciate that, man. For sure. So boom. So, what was your first album? Your, your first solo album? My first solo album. I mean, I had a. Uh, my first album was uh, G Gas Man. Mm -hmm. I had I had a mix. No, my first album was based on a true story. Mm -hmm. DJ Fresh. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Fresh had uh style introduced me to Fresh or whatever. Um I had wrote that shit. I had wrote the whole album while I was in jail. As soon as I got out, Fresh put picked me up. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was just begging the nigga, shit, you don't rap that shit with nobody else, just rap all that shit over my beats. And that's <laughs> how I, that's how I put my first album together. But I had a mixtape too called uh, Thousand Shady Acres. But that first album, album is for the first time for sure. You dope, you dope as fuck, bro. And I, you know, right, bro. I ain't, you know, I ain't just telling you that, bro. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of your work, man. So, so tell me about what's your process when you when you write a rhyme? Do you do you come up with the hook first, or do you how do you pull the subject? How do you what is your process when you go uh, when you making up making a song? Uh, I I come with a concept. You feel me, a topic or whatever. Then make the hook around that. Yeah, you feel me? And then the verses then come like that, bro. It's basically of what if, whatever I'm going through that day or whatever I went through the, the day before or what I'm about to go through, you feel me? Shit that I done seen and did before, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Just make sure it's all, all authentic, real. And, 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 you know, catchy and, mm -hmm. you know, all the shit, all the little elements, you feel me? Absolutely. So who are your musical influences coming up? Um, man, a lot of motherfuckers, but Pac was the for sure number one. But I, I've been, you know, I've been my my mom's had me laced on that um on on this music shit for from day one from when I was a youngster. You feel me? You know what I'm saying she big music kind of sort. So I already knew about like hella old school shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying shit y'all was doing and you feel me? You know what I'm saying so. But Pac was the for sure number one um, inspiration, for sure, because I wouldn't even be thinking about rapping if that nigga was still alive. Absolutely. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, for sure. Fodies, show. You Absolutely. feel me? The, you know what I'm saying? The, you know what I'm saying? The Legend Spice one. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Three times crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, you feel sir. me? Sebo, Seagram. Yes, sir. You know? Even Digital Underground too, you feel me? From Money B and Shot Z, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So so what so what's your project? What's your, what's your favorite album? If you said if you could pull any Shady Nate project, what would be your favorite project that you really said, okay, this is my, this is my shit right here? Um I don't know, all of them. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> okay, on, on the way up to the video, to the to on um, to the interview, we was bumping Oh Murder. You yeah. and you in HD. Yeah. Tell me a bit a, a little bit about that collab. <clears throat> Shout out HD Bareface. Shout out HD man, that's my nigga, my brother. Uh, man, hey man, Ace Ace was Ace was live wire. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So I been had a connection with him. You feel me? So from back in the day, and I just ran into him again. Every time I seen you, feel me, you know what I'm saying? And we just and we got on hella songs together. We just had hella different songs like scattered out. So mm -hmm. we seen each other, we were like, you know what I'm saying? Let's put something together. And I came with Omerta. I had been had the name on Mercury, you feel me? I'd be on that my shit. Mm -hmm. you feel me, you know what I'm saying? And we just put it together like that. We just stuck like glue for for about six, seven months, you feel me? And, and rocked that shit out. Tell, tell me about the uh uh the video pull up. That's a tight ass song, bro. Yeah, the video was organic and it was a motherfucker, man. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that. The video, man, pull up video, man. We started off on um on Well Street, cause I, I, you know what I'm saying? My sister stayed over there. We just went to my hood, went to H hood. You 
feel me? I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Pulling up everywhere, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? On the rail. That's what's up, man. So, man, everybody, I know, I want one thing. I know you don't like to talk about shit, but everybody want to know what's going on with you and Lavish D, and, and do y'all got issues, and what's what's going on with that? Shit, I, I don't got, I don't got, only issue I got, only person I got issue with is the devil, man. You feel me? I don't got no funk with nobody or none of that shit. I be like, I. My thing is, I want to see every black man get on, you feel mm -hmm. me? I ain't getting in the way of nobody checking, I, ain't, I just ain't, I don't indulge into the uh, the politics and the, you feel me, the he say, she say shit, I holler at laugh, you feel me, you already know what's up, you know what I'm saying? So, I just be pushing, like, you know what I'm saying, because I know I got a gift with this music shit, so I let my music speak for itself, you feel me? Absolutely. Other than, other than you feel me, indulge in the um, he say, she say, or whatever, that's the gimmick, the gimmick shit that motherfuckers be having going on, you feel Man, me? Man, you know what's the trip about you, and, I, and I, that's why I respect you as a king and as an artist. I've been with you because, you know, we be rocking, and motherfuckers be calling you and asking you about certain shit, and you'll get their ass to Heisman, you'll get their ass to Stiff Worm. You're like, yeah, man, I don't know. Yeah, man, I don't know, man. Like, hey, man, don't call me with that, bro. Right. And I like that about you, bro, as an artist, man. Motherfucker can't call you and ask you about, nigga, don't ask me, nigga, ask the bitch. Right. Because <laughs> when you put, it's the energy, it's the energy. What you put out there is going to come back, you feel me? So I'd rather put some some positive energy or some, you know, some, you know, some, some, Something real instead of some fake shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, man. Every time I, uh, I talk to you, man, you always talk positive about all the artists, whether it be Filthy, whether it be Lavish D, all of it, Jay Style, and, and, and I like that about you as an artist, man. And man, you just a, you just, you just a, a, a pleasure to work with, man. You got the good energy and you're a true artist, bro. Right on, uh, and I And I appreciate that about you, King. On top, you feel me? So, man, hey, man, can you tell the people where they can find you and, and, and uh, any projects that you got coming up real soon, or anything like that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it was since this uh, pandemic almost over, man, we finna be popping up everywhere, you feel me? So, um, you know, I'll be coming to a hood near you, man, you know what I'm saying? Me and Ace finna start working on this old merger too, you know what I'm saying? We got I was just finna ask you that, too. Yeah, we yeah, gonna sure. do the old merger too. Tell us about the shop, not to interrupt, but just to interject. Okay. Tell, us, tell us about the shop that you got going on. Oh yeah, I got a, uh, the store up in Rancho. You know what I'm saying? Shady Nation Clothing Store, you feel me? We just opened that like last month. You know, it's, uh, I'm trying to just, you know, have some damn set down something in every city, you feel me? All right. Tell us a little bit about the tripping wear and, and then your inspiration about uh, about your, your clothing. Oh yeah, the tripping. That's my uh, me and my cousin Cheddar. You feel me? So it's a it's an addition for Shady Nation clothes. Shady Nation clothing. You know what I'm saying? We came with that after my um, my cousin Marsh got killed. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Uh, that was an inspiration off that because we tripping for real. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? At the same time, but you know it was just a um, that was. It was, it's, it just started going, like, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? I've I been told my cousin about this, you know, the, the little, you know, mm -hmm. the merchandise, you feel me? He just started listening, really paying attention to what I was saying when he came with that, and it started, you know, start moving, you feel me? What's your address to, to, the, the, to, the, uh, to the shop? The address is... I'm going to put it down at the bottom. Yeah. Don't worry about nothing. We're going to make sure y'all got that, man. It's in Rancho, know. though. It's, it's in Rancho, Rancho, Sacramento. South Sac Sacramento, man, y'all. What's your website? My website, ShadyNationMusic1.com. Feel me? Tap in. Man, Shady Nate, man. He's one of the rawest motherfucking artists out here, man. Livewire, co-founder, man. He a good soul, man. This dude is a real artist, man. Genuine, man. Y'all go check Shady Nate out, man. Check out his album, man. Omerta. Uh, Strap with Max is a nice song. Uh, uh, what's the one that you just, 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 just did a million? His overviews. That one more lick? My, my meeting. My meeting. What about yeah. one more lick? One more lick just hit like two million. You know what I'm saying? So one more lick, man. I mean, this dude is a, is a real artist, man. Livewire co founder. Shady Nate, man. Can you tell him who your uh, IG is? Your IG address? Oh, yeah, Real Shady Nate. Hit me at Real Shady Nate on IG. Um, Say two eight nine on Twitter. Okay, now yeah. and, and, and for booking and verses, man, hit him up, man, cause bro, he don't fuck with a lot of people. But if you tap in, I might can get you some. You can tap in with us. <laughs> you know tap in with us, man. Feel me? I got some news you can use, man. 
Hey man, we appreciate here you, you here at All Bay News. Shady man, like I say, man, it's a pleasure, man. You always come through, man. Let's rock. Anything else you want to say uh, to, to the people out here? Yeah, man. Stay welcome, stay dangerous, man. On the real. Okay, one last thing I always say, man. Anything you got to say to any kids coming up, and you know, any advice you got to any artists that's coming up? Yeah, man. Stay, um, just stay grounded, keep and stay and stay real. Stay yourself, be yourself. You feel me? Whatever you do, be yourself. You know what I'm saying? It'll be more authentic, and then you'll go farther. You feel me? A gimmick only gonna last for so long. You can only keep a lie alive for so long, man. Tell the truth, you feel me? Man, yeah, absolutely. One more thing, man. Can I can I can I can I get a verse? Can I get a free? You got a freestyle? You got a verse in you? Oh, you got man. anything off the top of your head? <laughs> no, I'm gonna ask you, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you, man. Hey, you know yeah. I am. You got anything? I'll put something together for you, man. Okay, let me tell you what you got. Do you need I, a beat? I ain't ready, right, I ain't ready right there. Ah! I'm fucking with you. <laughs> well, it's all, it's all good, King, man. Hey, man, it was a beautiful uh, uh, interview, man. One love, one mob, man. Hey, man, hold on. Why the hell you wasn't on one mob? The, 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 uh, Come on, sit down. I was in jail. Oh, okay. That's all I want to say. I was in jail. That's why I missed, I missed out on yeah, a lot. Because you just clean as fuck. But I'm just saying, you folks been on that one mob. I'm, sure. I'm just saying, no. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm saying that. Fuck I'm that. Top. I'm you know top. All right, bro. You know I. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Boom, for sure.